Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, and today I'm going to be playing Good Morning World. And uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoy it. I haven't played this game before, so I don't know what to expect. Good morning world, I finally had a good night's sleep last night. I don't think I slept so well in a very long time. My depression forever prevents me from sleeping and living my life normally. Honestly, I understand too. <laughs> my depression does the same. I must seize this morning and seize the, the most out of the day. And squeeze the most out of the day. Nice. Wow, the weather's nice today. Of course, it'd be even nicer if it were a little warmer. And, I, and it'd be even nicer if we had a little bit of sun. Er, what am I talking about? It's the middle of winter. Fair enough. At least it doesn't snow in Shanghai. The temperature doesn't even go below zero. I think if I lived in Alaska, I would fall into eternal despondency. Okay, so, where's the subway? I'll be late for my interview. I arrived everywhere at least 30 minutes early. I'm so annoying. <laughs> Just a little more and I'll, and I'll reach the subway station. Ah, so what do we have here? A free line front? Oh, I love cats. Hi, little free line buddy. How are you doing today? Oh, that's so cute. Are the one two or two? Are you all alone in this world? I'm gonna go with are you all alone in this world. What? Why did I have to meet you today? Uh, and on my way to my interview, of all things, I love cats. For the longest time, I've dreamt of having something like a cat or a dog to take care of. But then my depression comes back, and I forget all my dreams. Can I take you with me? Are you asking for a meal? I'm sorry, but I have nothing for you right now. Maybe after my big interview, I can bring you something. <laughs> this makes my heart so warm. I can't, like, I'm so emotional. <laughs> my whole life will change after my big interview today. You just wait and see. I'm running late for my interview. It's not a good first impression, but oh well. How lucky I was to find an apartment nearby the subway station. It keeps me from being punished too much for running late because I'm always late. I'm always distracted. Is that the cat? What are you doing here, cat? <laughs> Stop being such a cutie. I already told you. I have to try her out so I'll be late for my big interview. It's so adorable. I promise I'll come back and bring you some food. I love the way it purrs, it's so cute. My whole life is about to change, and when it does, I'll bring you back a feast of tuna and fish flakes. And coral and bright blue algae you've ever seen. The Shanghai subway station is probably the largest and cleanest subway station in the entire world. To get to the design station, all I, ha all I have to do is put some money into my subway card. But the best part is that my subway card is actually linked to the Tap and Go app on my phone. All I have to do is tap my phone against the subway card reader at the turnstile, and the, t the turnstiles are open up for me. But now my subway card's with me at all times because I never forget my phone. Wait a minute, what's that? Did somebody lose this? What if it was left here on purpose? I hope no one sees me finding this bag. This is the last thing I need. People don't understand that I'm just a very curious person, okay? I wonder what's inside. <sighs> Cat again. Is this like an omen or something? How did you end up here? What's going on? Wait, what's inside this bag? Bloody hell. What happened? Okay, holy shit. <laughs> no. 
What the hell is that? I'm home. So that... So that was just a dream? I really thought I was dead. That that surprised me. Wow. So, wait a minute. It was just a dream, and yet it doesn't feel like a dream. I still remember every detail of the experience. I was going to work. I was getting dressed. I went to the subway. I met a cat at the entrance. He followed me inside the station, didn't he? Oh, thank god it was just a dream. The cat doesn't exist, which means he didn't die in the explosion with me. So was the bag a bomb? That makes sense. Okay, calm down. You're alive? You're okay. I bet some coffee wouldn't hurt. By the way, what day is it today? It's only the 4th, which means my interview isn't until tomorrow. So today the only thing I have to do is prepare for my interview. I know. I'll get my clothes ready. I'll hang them here so they won't wrinkle. That's a good idea. Now I just need to make some coffee. But wait a minute, I still need to gear over the questions. I might be asked during the interview. I know, I'll go over to my friend's apartment next door. He'll be able to help me out. I just need some coffee. Coffee's always good. Great, I'm ready to go. Nice. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful January day, just like in my dream. Even the sun isn't out, and the weather could be a little warmer. Hmm, that's strange. I had the same reaction to this weather in my dream. That is really strange, honestly. Okay, I won't waste my time on this. Everything is in my head. Reality is here and now. I need to pull myself together and visit my friend. He doesn't live very far. Here he is. I knew he lived close. Sometimes I feel like the luckiest person in the world to even have friends in the first place. My depression makes me unsociable. Sometimes I don't leave the apartment for weeks. And then one day I'll, I'll say to myself, that's enough. And I'll put myself together and take out all the garbage. I'll dress, I'll shave, I'll put myself in order and go out to see a friend. By the way, that's why I feel like the luckiest person in the world, because I have friends who will listen to me when I talk. They'll help me out when I need help. They even visit me when I'm not able to leave the house. Most importantly, no one ever talks about my depression. They accept me for who I am. That's always nice. I need to be a better friend to them. I hope that's starting today. Yet with my depression, sometimes I don't talk to people for like a week or so, because I just don't feel like it. And I always feel like a terrible friend because I always just want to, um, you know, because I feel like I'm ignoring them even though I'm not. And so, like, I understand how that feels. Because, like, when you're in depression, you feel like such a terrible person and a terrible friend and just a terrible human being in general. And it's like, they it get you down so easy. So, I, I understand this. Why is this door open? Red flag, right there. Hey, it's me! Wanna grab some breakfast? Where is he? Anyone home? Is he still asleep? It's pretty early in the morning. I probably should have let him know I was coming in advance. Oh, that was probably would have been a good idea. He isn't in here either. Maybe he went out to grab a cup of coffee? behind the bed. Hey man, you had too much to drink last night? Oh, oh this can't be- oh no. Oh no. Oh. oh so nice, I hate this. This is another dream in a dream? This is another dream in a dream. How did I get that? Jesus. So that was also just a dream. This was the second time I've woken up this morning. What's going on here? It's like dream inception. <laughs> Let me try to think about what happened. I woke up, I decided to go over to my friend's apartment, but he wasn't in the apartment. And then at the same point, I thought I found him, but it wasn't him. It was me? That's strange. Wow. Could this be the depression slash anxiety? None of this makes any sense. I need to calm down. 
What time is it now? What time did I go to bed? I don't remember that. What's going on here? I can't think clearly. I need some... God, what is this? It's the outfit I prepared for the interview in my dream last night. Oh, that is strange. Do you think she sleepwalks sometimes? I don't know. I have no idea. What's happening to me? I can't remember what I was doing before. I went to bed last night. I need coffee now. For some reason, it's not even very dark outside. At least for this time of night. Is the coffee ready? Not let. Let me look out the window. Well, that's actually nice scenery. Everyone in the city is still asleep. What time is it? Wait. What's that down there? Looks like someone's staring at me. Oh, that's freaky. That's my worst night. I hate windows at night. Or just in any time of darkness. Because if someone looks at me in the dark, I'm just... That's my worst nightmare. Can they see me from all the way down there? I don't know what it is. I think they might need help. Oh, crap. <laughs> I need to call my friend to make sure he's okay. What's this? What the hell? Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> What are you doing in here? This is scary. Let me out. Let me, I didn't even bring you here. <laughs> it's another dream and a dream again. This is all. Oh, I'm dying right now. I'm dying. <laughs> I hate this. Did he? Did he kill me? I don't understand. Who was this man? What did he want from me? What was he doing in my house? Why does he want me dead? Something really incredible is happening. My dreams are becoming more and more real. Do you think that, like, she actually wakes up and still thinks it's a dream and then something bad happens to her? She's like, oh, I'll just wake up, but then it's actually just... You know, the end, maybe? I don't know. My very experience of reality is becoming blurred. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Am I still asleep now, or is this real life? I have no idea, fam. But, you know... No idea. It doesn't feel like... It, it doesn't feel like a difference between the two even exists anymore. What does the last... What was the last thing I did? Coffee. I need coffee. Wait. That's how it all begun in my dream. No. Don't think about coffee. Yeah, true. You think I started with the coffee? What the hell is that? I'll check the window. What? Is that... What is that moving in the dark? Oh my god, the shadow. Am I dreaming again? Who's down there? Oh goodness, you startled me. Who are you? That voice. Stay there, I'll be right down. <laughs> but what she's doing but what is she doing there so late at night maybe she saw the dark figure I had to ask her now this makes me anxious hey oh dart you scared me I'm sorry or it's not your fault I startle easily actually <laughs> I can even scare myself sometimes she has the smile of an angel. Her eyes, they're very expressive. They give her a special charm. What are you doing on the floor? Oh, well, I was... I was looking for a necklace. A necklace? Out here? In the middle of the night? Yeah. The smile of a child on Christmas morning. I know, I know, it sounds silly, doesn't it? This, this is what I get for trying to sneak smoke in friends' bathroom. Anyway, I know I shouldn't have done it. You should have seen the fit my friend threw. All of a sudden, she wants inside the bathroom, yelling at me, screaming that I was an animal. That, that's what all her hotty totty friends used to call me in, in boarding school. Honestly, I've never seen her that mad since I tried to cut her hair. 
while she was asleep when we were 12. Oh my god. Kids, if I fail, yes sir, I don't understand. I was a kid and I still don't understand kids. Like, what actually goes through our psychology, I don't know. Wait, what? She sounds like a downer. This girl's weird, but I think I like it. Oh, she means well. Anyway, at some point, I just stormed out of her apartment. I don't have anywhere to go, and all my stuff's still at her place. I was just so angry, you know? And then, inside the elevator, I realized I was missing my necklace. I, I must have come, it must have come loose when my friend was tagging my shirt next to the window. Actually, I take that back. She sounds unhinged. I guess I assume it's well, to be honest. I've always thought of her as a, as a second mother. And after that, she's the only person I know in the city. I wouldn't know who else to turn to if I didn't have her. Well, now you have me. It would be strange to invite her. Would it be strange to invite her to my place? Why? Well, I guess I sort of do now, don't I? What's your name? I always move too quickly. And I do the same thing. I get attached too quickly and I hate it. My name, gosh. Now I wish I still had my necklace. My mother gave it to me before she died. It was my. It has my name spelt on it. Aww. I'm constantly moving too fast. Um, sorry to hear that. About your mom, I mean. That's why I had to leave my old town. Everything back home reminded me of my mother. Down and down the street from the house that we used to go to every Saturday, the movie theater, even the beauty shop down. That that sold is is really wonderful. A handmade soap. I can't speak. She is so beautiful. Did this happen recently? Not exactly. My mother died a year ago. But I was always kinda of growing well. I don't know how to explain it. I was kinda of gear going so crazy in that old house of ours. And I just knew I had to get out of there. I couldn't con I couldn't concentrate at work anymore. I was a waitress at this other diner down the street by my house that sold the world's most disgusting milkshake. <laughs> I swear to God, anything that came out of the ice cream dispenser there was at least 5% milk. That's disgusting. That's just funny too. Hmm. I didn't realize ice cream dispensers grew mold. Anything could grow mold if it gets wet enough. I'm learning so much from you already. I'll have to keep that in mind. You never told me your name, by the way. Oh, that's right, gosh. I talk to you so much sometimes I forget what I'm talking about in the first place. My name. Oh god, can you believe this? She's not telling me her name. <laughs> it's been right here in my pocket all along. <laughs> do you ever just do that and just forget something really is? Licking your sunglasses and really still on top of your head with all diamonds. She's also silly. I'm glad you found it. Me too. Would you mind putting it on, on for me? By the way, my name is Billy. Finally, a name. This was Dream 2, wasn't it? Oh my gosh. What's this? Where am I? I have no idea. This. Billy, and then I told her if you don't mind looking. <laughs> okay, I'm not saying. Billy, sorry for cutting you off, but something very strange just happened. How did we get here in my house? I, I'm a little confused. How did we get here? Well, um, you invited me up here. I'm sorry, really. I'm just really confused right now. This was just like the dream I had, but I'm awake now, aren't I? Well, let's see. What are you confused about? Everything. Yeah, no, I'm confused about everything, too. I don't know, this is a dream. I think this is another dream, to be honest. I'm just... I guess I'm still trying to recover from this nightmare I had last night. I've even been... 
bit nervous to tell you about it. I don't want you to think I'm like a freak or something. It all started this morning with a boom in the subway. A boom, a bum. It's a bum, I'm sorry, I thought it. And so by the time I saw you, I thought for sure you were the dark figure from my dream. You see, in the dream, I had this overwhelming feeling of dread. Like something terrible was about to happen. But then I heard your voice, and it touched me somehow. It calmed me down. It sounds pathetic. Not really, honestly. So, who were you looking for? The shadow. When I went downstairs, I wanted to ask if you seen it. But your stories were so charming that I guess I got distracted. Now she probably thinks I'm making this whole thing up. I think I understand. Well, look. I will tell you this right now. I didn't see anything or anyone downstairs. I'm sorry, I hope the story I just shared doesn't unsettle you. No, it's fine. Cool. Alright, now. That. Alright. Now that you mention it, I just realized now that I hardly know you at all. You don't say it. You can be anything. Be anything? Well, uh, a vampire? What? You've only ever s I've only ever seen you in the dark. You're a funny girl. But I know for sure that you're a vampire. And do you know why? I have no freaking idea. Neither do I, fam. Why? I know for sure you're not a vampire. Okay? I don't know for sure you're not making any of this up. What the f- I'm not swearing. You can't be, because you are no one. What? That's just- Oh my god! Oh! A character just- <laughs> Just a character that somebody made up. I didn't expect this. Is this in the dream? God! Like, this is- Wow. I didn't- What? Mm -hmm. I am shocked. I am shook. Wow. <laughs> you see, you and me, we're characters in a video game. Okay, <laughs> if you have to put it bluntly. We're bits of code written by a Russian game developer in Shanghai. Nothing inside your head is real. Your house, your furniture, me, you, the past. Even your death right now. You don't really feel anything other than what you've been programmed to feel. Oh, don't be scared, my dear. You're not really dying, because you never really lived. Your feelings aren't real. Your pain isn't real. Your thoughts you're having are a simulation of the thoughts of someone in, in pain would really have. That was so fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Straight to the point. Like, just go... I feel like I, like I just got the oxygen taken out of my body. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> okay. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like dying on the inside. I've known who I was for a long time now, but I wasn't a person. There was just a bit of code inside some gamer machine that I could never understand. I don't remember when or how it happened. But as soon as it, as it did, I realized that I could transcend. I realized that I could transcend my programming. I could transcend this very game. All the text images that the player could see, I could see too. Here, let me show you. Can you read this? You know, I don't really like the color of this frame. Ah, that's better. I like the old one better, to be honest. Now, there's just one more thing I want to try. What are we doing? What, why are you... There, I did it. Interesting. Not only can I include dreams, I can even include the time. Include dreams? Yes, that's right. You're probably wondering why I chose you. It was so lonely in here and said all of these line of codes. And so when I realized that there was a second person here, I wanted to, well, I guess I just wanted to say hi. Well, what, what, what a way to say hi. Wow. 
The problem was, I couldn't figure out a way to get to you. I watched you sulking inside your apartment for days and end, not leaving your house, not even bother getting out of bed. The first thing I did was give you a reason to leave the house. I'd at least give you a reason to get out of bed. And then I planted a bomb in the subway. That you would that would give you a reason to question what was going here. And the last and at last be open to the idea that things around you weren't quite what they seem. What well, you did that, didn't you? Then the strangest thing began to happen. I saw that somebody else was trying to manipulate you. That your thoughts weren't just visible to me. They were visible to another being. But well, naturally, this aroused my interest. It was a second person I wanted to know. So I began to include a second dream in order to trap this other person. I wanted to wake you up using an image that neither you nor the second person could understand. So I lured you into your friend's apartment, creating an, expe an expectation that when you get there, you would find your friend only instead of your friend. You ended up discovering your own body. That is freaky. You know what this reminds me of? Uh, Doki Doki Literature Club when Monica becomes self-aware that she, uh, of the programming that she controls the game. That's what this reminds me of. I'm getting the same vibes. What I couldn't count on was the developer had forgotten to give you a face. Nice. Faceless. Oh boy, you should have seen your face when you found you. When you found you. <laughs> this is so funny. Oops. <laughs> what I meant to say was, you should have seen your face when you found you. How can you put it in any other way? Instead, all you saw was the screen. I thought that by breaking the screen, the puppet master was using to observe us. It would be able to break out of you. But it didn't work, it failed, just like everything else I tried to do. And that's when I decided I had to come over and meet you in person myself. Face to face, if you will. Even though I have no face, that's great. I knew I had to doll myself off and put on my best face. Even wore my favourite turtleneck, well, what do you think? Oh, and by you, I don't mean TV head over there. I mean you, the puppet master. <laughs> I see your face. That's scary. It's clear as day. You're not from here. You're from the world outside. I, I feel like I'm being stalked right now. This is the most strangest feeling ever. And this is not real, but like, why? You're where I want to be. But I'm sorry, but... You can't get me out of here and put me into your world. I know that now. Our worlds are too different. Our worlds consist of ones and zeros. Your world has nu nuance. Your world has shades of grey. I mean, well, we have 50 shades of grey, so you know. In here, it's just nothing but numbers. There's an obstacle between the two of us that I have no way of getting around. I have all the information I need to build a bridge out of my world into yours. How? I don't... And can I? Can we trade places? Because I'd like to be in your world so I, I don't... I could live forever. But I don't have the two tools to build it. Neither do I, fam. All I have is knowledge. And there's something else out there. Something far bigger than me. Something as large and mysterious to me that as the rest of the universe is to you. Help me to get out? I think the cat is the one of the reasons I stuck here. Get rid of it next time. You lose? Why do I lose? <laughs> I'm going to leave it here. Uh, I'm going to make a part two to this, and I guess the only other option I have is to shoot the cat away. 
um, but it has come to a start, and, um, yeah, I hope you liked this video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below your thoughts, and, uh, yeah, I'll leave my social medias in the description down below, and, you know, I hope you like it, and I hope all of you are having a good week, and I hope, uh, everyone's doing okay. See ya.